Hey guys, welcome back. It's Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And China thinks Captain Marvel is ugly. Which, that's a little bit mean. Okay, <laughs> so I got to give a hat tip to uh, the quartering uh, for this. Uh, this is coming from Abacus News, which is a, a Chinese... Uh, uh, well, it's not actually a Chinese website, but it is a staff of, of uh, mostly Chinese people who write about China. So they understand Chinese culture, mm -hmm. right? Um, and uh, Captain Marvel, uh, apparently she's doing okay in China, but they don't think she's very attractive. I, and, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm, I don't want to say that. <laughs> so this is not the first time, we'll talk about this. This is not the first time that China has had an issue with a Hollywood blockbuster and uh, you know, with the new Star Wars films where China really didn't care for them very much because the actors were not attractive enough for China. Well, see, I'm just- China's I'm very just, picky. Yeah, I'm just like, I don't know where to go with this because I, I don't ever think it's okay to like bash someone because of their looks or whatever. So, I mean, I don't like the movie because the movie was eh. I mean, it was a, I mean, I, I do like it. I don't like it. It was a, it was a C. It was an eh. I liked it better than you did. I, I would, I would watch it again. But I wasn't like, this is the best movie ever. But I wasn't ever thinking about, was she pretty enough? Was she not pretty enough? I never thought that. But, you know, we do know they had to have a butt double. They so, did. They talk um, about that in this article. Oh, though. do they really? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. You feel okay. me? Because I, I don't know what's going on here. All right. China thinks Captain Marvel isn't attractive enough. Online comments for Marvel's first film focused on a female superhero revolve around star Brie Larson's looks. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. As the first film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe to focus on a female superhero, Captain Marvel is meant to be a celebration of female well, empowerment. Something. But in China, plenty of discussion online isn't focusing on the character's actions or the film's plot. It's focused on the looks of star Brie Larson. I'm not judging a person by their looks, writes a commenter uh, that is about to judge a person on their looks. <laughs> <laughs> but the main character in a superhero movie shouldn't be uh, Dama, a derogatory term for middle-aged housewives. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Another person reposted a Photoshopped meme comparing the butts of Captain Marvel and Spider-Man using the edited picture to suggest that Larson's hips aren't round enough. That Spider-Man's got a tighter bum than Brie Larson. Well, I know when I, I'm thinner, my butt's flat too, so I can't say much. I have a flatter butt. Not that flat, but it's flatter. I have a luscious peach. I've been working out. <laughs> I've been working out. China would love my ass. It, they would. It probably would. Uh, Anyway, while Captain, Mar your ass? No, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> while Captain Marvel is far from being the most successful Marvel film in Chinese box office history, it did okay. Yeah. It did better than Alita. I hate yeah. to break it to you guys, but it did better than Alita. Uh, it's hardly a flop. It's grossed over $127 yeah, it million has, right? since its March 8th debut, according to the Chinese ticketing giant, uh, something in Chinese. <laughs> it also boasts a seven-star rating on a Dubon, Chinese equivalent to Rotten Tomatoes, which is comparable with Avengers Age of Ultron and Venom. Okay. Neither of which were very well received here in the U.S., uh, Age of Ultron Interestingly and Interestingly enough, Venom. yeah. yeah. Um, there are plenty of people defending the film's choice of Brie Larson. Why must superheroes look sublimely beautiful? This face looks tough. It's exactly <laughs> what she, she needs. To, she looks tough. She looks like she's ready for some rough and tumble. That's exactly what Captain Marvel calls for. Uh, another said, I wish we could all avoid double standards. Is Tony Stark young? Is he well built? Do you all like him because well, of his that's muscles? That's a valid point. But anyway, go ahead. Still, it seems like Captain Marvel's momentum isn't as strong in China as it mm -hmm. is in the U.S. While the blockbuster dominated the American box office for two weekends well, in a row. Yeah. yeah, in China, it lost the top spot to Taiwanese romance more than blue, a tearjerker about two star-crossed lovers. They do love their romance stories over there, though. I love their romance stories over there, too. What I, are you watching? What's that show you're watching, um, a Chinese drama? No, right now it's a Taiwanese one, and it's one. It's an older one, so I don't remember. What is it called? <laughs> I am not watching I don't, it. I don't, I don't know. know what the name of it is, but it's like something Love Me or something. But anyway. Something Love Me. I don't remember the exact title, but it's good. Um, so yeah, we need to just like make up names for random. We should, like, do, a, we should do a guess, like which one of these is true, which one. Is which one's fake. an actual title and which one's a fake title? We should, because I'd have to quiz you though. Because love I'd probably... me something. I wouldn't know any of these. Yeah, I I have to, these. I'll have to. We'll have to do that. That'd be fun. So some say it's because Captain Marvel feels less like a standalone film and more like a palette, palette cleanser. cleanser. Which I'm sorry, it, I would agree with that. It's, yeah, it's sort of just a lead in, sort of like a she prequel kinda, Yeah, comic. she kind of didn't feel like her own, like she didn't feel like the lead in her own no. movie. And it was kind of like, because the other ones you could tell they were definitely the lead, even though it was an ensemble cast. 
this one she kind of just felt like she was getting lost in her own movie and so i kind of understand what they're saying there well you could kind of argue that's the way with, with some of the captain america movies though, yeah too. You like could, you uh, could. especially civil war it didn't mm -hmm. it felt like oh yeah that avengers. was that felt like an avengers yeah, yeah it was no, an avengers yeah that's movie. true you yeah, can so uh captain marvel was okay not saying it's bad but don't expect any surprises said one of the top comments mm -hmm. watch watch it for the hype it's just a lead up to the final episode that's yeah. why oh, it's yes. so well. I, I honestly think they're being pretty pretty right on go ahead She's such an important character, but her personality didn't shine through. See? See? That goes back to the whole wooden thing people were saying, and people were like, that's not true. It is true. Even the Chinese noticed. Anyway. The Chinese. The cat stole the show. This is the most liked comment. Okay. Most so, liked so comment. okay. It's not just for all there. It's just you haters. It's just you. No. No. It's apparently a global thing. These things that we're pointing out, that everybody's been pointing out, are globally acknowledged. Yeah. This isn't just an American thing. It's like people are basically saying, hey, the movie's not... It's not anything to write home sorry, about. Some people dream. absolutely not the right kind, though. Uh, not the right kind. No, it's Dr. Pepper. <laughs> so. abs absolutely hated uh, Captain Marvel, and some people were lukewarm to it. I haven't seen too I have seen some people love it, but even people who defend it are like, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It was funny the other day, uh, somebody I know who um, doesn't get involved in this stuff, uh, but I know tends to lean very lean left, usually. They were uh, they were talking on the thing and they said, you know, it's not going to be a popular opinion, but I didn't hate Captain Marvel, but I like the Lita a lot better. And I had to write and say, actually, Ooh. it's it's not an unpopular opinion at all. <laughs> it's like it's a very common thing yeah. that I'm hearing. He's like, I saw them both and I like them both, but I like Lita better. OK, so just just to say th this does seem to matter more to China. Um, the, be the appearances, you mean? Yeah, because well, in America, they keep trying to make excuses for appearances. Like we have to change she to make her look whatever, and the characters look whatever to be conclusive, inclusive, and all that. And China's just like it's not hot. We don't want it. Could it be that maybe China's just more honest? Could it be that maybe China's like, yeah, you know, uh, we like to see hot people on screen. And we have no problem. It's all those damn Chinese Republicans. <laughs> <laughs> the Chinese Republicans. I'm just saying, maybe the Chinese are more honest. Maybe they're they're just like, look, we like to see attractive people. Most people like to watch attractive people. That's just the way humans are wired, right? Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with but, watching uh, but, attractive But don't people. we? Don't you know that's incorrect? Because if you watch attractive people, it's gonna make you feel bad about yourself. And we need people to be ugly like us because otherwise we cannot feel. We cannot, you know appreciate it we'll feel bad about ourselves if it's not we're not being represented oh God. efficiently okay so the last jedi bombed hard in china mm -hmm. the last Jedi bombed hard mm -hmm. uh, actually i think the only one of the disney star wars movies that did reasonably well was rogue, rogue one, one because i think because it did have a, a chinese star i think was part of the reason they also said that it resonated with chinese it was people good. yeah it was yeah it was good it was good um uh, i will i will say it's probably the best of the disney Star Wars movies, but okay. So the last Jedi flopped, failed, failed very, very hard. And they talk about why, and they talk about how, you know, Star Wars never really connected with Chinese audiences. Um, but then they but come they, down. They had a hard set with Star Wars before this though. They be did. They, they so, always I mean, had. To be fair, they've always had trouble with Star Wars. I mean, they had to change the name for Solo to Ranger Solo. <laughs> Ranger Solo. I mean, so to the and it Star dropped Wars, the Star Wars altogether. Star Wars has often been a hard sell. Um, for China anyway. So, I mean, I'll be fair about that, but go ahead. Okay. Well, one of, one of the factors, and I do remember this article from like a year ago, one of the factors, according to Chen, I'm not sure who Chen is, Chen Tao, project manager and longtime Star Wars aficionado with Star Wars China. So okay. they have their own website. So they do have some fans in China. I'm sure um, they do. Uh, he said, according to Chen, uh, includes Chinese audiences preference for physically attractive, physically <laughs> attractive protagonists. <laughs> And stories oh, rooted in reality. He points out that, for example, superhero films from Marvel until Captain Marvel, a Disney Disney cash cow that has enjoyed great success in China, featured a recognizable setting such as New York and even China, and are filled with larger and life leads who meet the public's aesthetic standards. The Star Wars characters, meanwhile, look like or, look ordinary by comparison. These actors aren't very beautiful, <laughs> which may deter a lot of Chinese from seeing the recent films, said Chen. We... Fans often joke that if Finn were played by Will Smith, Chinese people might be more inclined to watch it because he's very handsome. Ouch. Oh are you saying... But he's going to play Genie, so good news for you, China. <laughs> are you saying that that the actors playing, in the, they're not attractive? Gosh, you people are so shallow. No. Uh, <laughs> seriously, though, I've heard this on multiple occasions. Like, I, you know, the reason I think Johnny Depp is so popular in China, like he gets a pass on whatever controversy he's involved in because he 
he's he's a hot guy, right? And I can yeah. say that I'm secure enough in my manhood to say Johnny Depp's attractive. Now he was more attractive 20 years ago than yeah, he is now, saying, but I mean, he's been through some shit. We did yeah. a video on that. <laughs> you know, Dude so, almost yeah. has finger cut off. He's been through some stuff. Well, um, that explain. What did um? I gotta ask you. Did Aquaman do really well in China? I don't know. We'll have to look that up. We'll have to look that because you know what? If it did, he's pretty buff. They might actually. That might have actually done well. So that is that is the key uh, for these movie studios, right? Disney, you need to... I know you're trying to be more uh, diverse and inclusive. Just make sure that your diversity and inclusivity includes uh, some hotties. Well, I was going to say, too, some about hotties. bringing up Aquaman again. I don't have the article in front of us, but it was funny because they were talking about the percentage of uh, women who went to see Captain Marvel, which were outranked by men. More men saw Captain Marvel than women did, uh, you know. But... Bunch more women, percentage-wise, went to see Aquaman than went to see Captain Marvel. <laughs> so, what do women want? Muscles. Yeah. <laughs> so Big muscles and sweaty pecs. Actually, I wanted to see it because I wanted to see the movie. I wasn't because of that. You can say. No, I honestly, I don't, I mean, he's he's okay, but he's not really my, he's not my type. That's the right answer. No, no, I'm serious. When your he husband's really, sitting next to you, no, that is really the right isn't answer. My I mean, he's, he's cute and all, but he's not really my type. But, um... He is the right type for a lot of ladies, and I'm sorry, I'm just saying. He's like he's like Fabio, but rougher if Fabio could talk to fish. No, he's cute and Fabio. Okay, never mind. <laughs> That's a bad analogy. Like, that is a bad analogy. I mean, he's not bad looking. He's cute. He is cute. He's just not really my. He's. I. I, I do like him. The guy, the actor, though. Oh, he's I funny. Love Jason him. Momoa is funny. I love he's him. Funny. I just want to hug him because he's just. I. He, I. Just, I what I like about him is I'd like to hang out with him, have beer. Not because of any other reason that I want want to sleep with him or anything like that, but just because he'd be fun to hang out with to have flipping beer. That's right why. answer. No, I'm dead serious. <laughs> no, he does seem like a really nice. Actually, I, I Jason Momoa seems him. pretty cool. He seems like he'd he be seems fun pretty cool. To I, I want to go party. Well, with he's him. a hugger. He hugs his fans, but I now I don't know if he's gonna be allowed I can't, to. But I would hug him. I don't know if he's allowed to. And it's to. not because I'm like, oh, I, I want to, you know, rub up against you. It's because I just want to go have beer with him at party. I don't need to rub up against you. I just need to smell your hair. <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you tired? Now you're letting people know your secrets. You should stop doing that. So um, he wants to smell his hair. You just want to brush it and brush it. Oh yeah, brush that's it. okay. Brush okay, there it. it is, guys. That's why I buy. That's what I like about him. He's I want to brush that hair. He's got brushable hair. I want to brush that hair. Uh, so yeah, that is the secret to the Chinese box office: have hot actors and actresses. Have a nice ass. Have a nice ass. Um, um, don't look like a middle-aged soccer mom. Apparently, even though she doesn't really look like a middle-aged soccer mom, but you know, um, his butt is nicer. <laughs> I don't know. So that is that is part that is actually part of the reason apparently that Chinese audiences didn't didn't really care so much for Captain Marvel. <laughs> and, for Star Wars and that's either. why Star Wars bombed because they just aren't hot the, enough. Of all the not things to be to, to think of that, that's what caused it. That's weird. Oh my god. This is like the guy leading the Star Wars fan club. Is yeah, he's like, so well, there's no reason to make this crap up, you know? It's not like they're all Harrison Ford. <laughs> what are you saying? Uh, yeah, so that is that is interesting. That is interesting. So China thinks uh, Captain Marvel is is just not hot enough uh, for them. Okay. Well. All right. So now we know. Now we know. I don't even know what to say. To this. <laughs> I don't know what to I say. Don't know what to so say we're gonna wrap this one up. We're going to tell you, please suggest that you subscribe to Clownfish TV and please ring the bell for notifications. Make sure you get our notifications. Some people have been unnotified when we post videos. Yes, people have been unsubbed too, apparently. Yeah, that's... that's we, we keep hearing that a lot. Pretty strange. Double check and make sure Double you're check. still subbed. Okay. And uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, rants, gaming videos, art videos, and more. This has been Neon and Geeky. Bye. Goodbye. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com and if you want to join our community go to clownfishtalk.com that's clownfishtalk.com please subscribe ring the bell for notifications we will talk to you next time